Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. My name is Erin from Juniper and Oaks. I am a crochet pattern designer. I like to use interesting stitches like these to create patterns for you to crochet for items around your home. I do a lot of blankets and pillows, but this year I am also doing a bookmark crochet along where one, uh, every month I release a brand new crochet bookmark pattern for you to use uh, when you're reading your one book a year or one book a month <laughs> when you're reading your one book a month like I am planning to do. You know, of course, I read a million children's books every day to my kids over and over again, but this year I am taking time to read novels for myself. I hope you are too. These bookmarks are a way to encourage me to do just that. So each month I'm releasing a brand new crochet bookmark pattern free on my blog and I'm doing crochet videos along with them. Hooray! Today we're working up this fun little puffy palm bookmark and this is using the puff stitch and as well as adding a little pom-pom at the end. So a little puffy palm. What you're going to need to make up this bookmark pattern is a size E 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. This is just a simple one from We Crochet. And then you're going to use DK weight yarn. I thought this fun speckled spellbound colorway from High Desert Yarn would be just a fun uh, yarn for this puffy palm. And this is hand dyed yarn from High Desert Yarn. If you've been following along with this cow, you know that I bought these cute little mini skeins and I turn them into little hanks. Uh, and this is hand dyed yarn from High Desert Yarn. Joanna is a crochet friend of mine that I met online. She also dyes yarn from her home. She uses natural fiber. This is 100% super wash merino wool yarn, and she just dyes it out of her home. So you need DK white yarn, just like 12 yards, not too many to make this little puffy palm bookmark. One worry that I know that I have about this is the puff stitch is uh, a little bit thicker uh, and, a, you know, maybe too thick for your bookmark. If so, just to use a smaller size hook uh, if you want or, um, you know, just make it up, see what you think. You're also, of course, going to need a pair of scissors and you're going to need a yarn needle. Also, if you don't have one, you can get these cute little pom-pom makers. This is a 35 millimeter pom-pom maker. Um, I got a four set of Clover uh, just from Michael's or Joanne's, I can't remember where. And, uh, or there's other DIY ways to make pom-pom that you can wrap around your finger or um, whatever, just look it up. So you don't have to have these cute pom-pom makers, but I do like them and make them nice and easy. So that's what you're going to need to make up this bookmark. Let's go ahead and get it made. Uh, if you haven't already, please like this video, help other people uh, find my bookmark pal go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that little bell so you're notified anytime that I come out with another bookmark pattern or other crochet tutorial or yarn related content. That would be really great. Also, have you ever used the puff stitch before? I'm really excited if you haven't to teach you how to do it so you can use it in your other crochet projects. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. We start with a slip knot. and a chain. We're going to chain 32. You can make your bookmark longer than mine or shorter by just chaining any even number of stitches. We're going to do 32. Okay, once you got your chain of 32, you're going to turn and single crochet in that second chain from your hook. Ooh, look how deep purple this is. This is beautiful. Single crochet in that second chain from your hook. Then you're going to chain one and skip a stitch or skip a chain and then work a single crochet in that next chain. And repeat that around along the chain. Okay, so chain one skip a chain and do a single crochet. Chain one, skip a chain, single crochet. 
chain one, skip a chain, single crochet, all the way down. Then in your last chain, you work your single crochet, and that is row one. Now we're almost done because we just have one more row. There's just two rows plus a pom-pom for this pattern. Now you're gonna chain three and turn. Let's learn how to do the puff stitch now. We're gonna work the puff stitch in this chain one space. I know different crochet patterns will call for different sorts of puffs, but this one we are going to uh, end up with nine loops on our hook before we yarn over and pull through them all. And so we're going to be inserting our hook through this chain one space four times to make that happen. And here's how we do it. We're going to yarn over and insert our hook the first time through that chain one space. Then we're going to yarn over, pull up a loop. And right now we have three loops on our hook. We're going to do that number uh, three more times. We're going to yarn over, insert our hook through that chain one space, and pull up a loop. And now we have five loops on our hook. We'll do it two more times. Yarn over, insert through that chain one space, pull up a loop. Now we have seven loops. Yarn over, insert, pull up a loop. And now we have nine. See? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And now we're going to yarn over and pull through all nine of those loops. You're going to have to kind of shimmy your way through all nine of those loops. And there we go. To finish off the puff, we chain one. And that is the puff stitch. You're going to do the exact same thing through all of those chain one spaces all the way down your bookmark. So we'll do it again together. Yarn over insert your hook through that chain one space and you're going to pull up a loop okay yarn over insert through that same chain one space pull up a loop yarn over insert through that same chain one space pull up a loop and then once again yarn over pull through that same chain one space pull up a loop and then yarn over and pull through all nine of those loops Look at that purple one. That one is so fun. Okay. Yarn over. Insert your hook through the chain one space. Pull up a loop. Yarn over. Insert hook through that same space. Pull up a loop. Yarn over. Insert through that same space. Pull up a loop. Yarn over through that same space and pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all of those loops, and chain one. Do it again, yarn over, insert your hook through that chain one space, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, Yarn over, insert, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all of those loops, and then chain one, and there you go. So do that all along the rest. Okay, I've done my last puff stitch all the way down, and oh, I need to do my chain one. 
then we're just going to work a double crochet in that last single crochet stitch here. Just like that. And there we have the basis for our puffy palm bookmark. The last thing that you're going to do is add your pom pom. So fasten off, leaving like just a nice tail to fasten on that pom pom. There we go. And if you don't know how to make the pom pom, I'm going to just kind of do it right here for you. So here we have your little pom pom maker. And we open it up here. You can open up on this side. And these kind of separate like that, but just keep them together. And we're going to start and work one side at a time. Where you just take your yarn and wrap it around. You want to get it nice and thick all the way around your pom pom maker. The more yarn you add, the thicker your pom pom is going to be. Uh, I like a nice and full pom pom, so we're just going to go around, 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 around. And I'm excited to see what this spellbound yarn looks like as a little pom-pom. Okay, now you see down here under that arch is getting pretty full, so what I'm going to do is now uh, attach it there. I'm going to snip yarn and then I'm going to start here on this side. I'm not really counting or anything, I'm just going around and around and around. It's gonna be a nice purple section right there, the pom pom. Okay, looks about good. So now I'm going to connect those and just snip off right there. Now you take your scissors and you're gonna cut kind of in between here, you see like, oop, like so. You're gonna cut like that. And on the other side as well. Like that. I think we got it all cut. Now I'm going to take the end of my yarn uh, from my pom pom here. You can do it this way, or you can go uh, and just get another length of yarn here. Maybe I'll just do it that way for now. Um, and you're going to tie a knot very secure, really tight, as tight as you can make it uh, without like snapping your yarn so that your pom-pom ends are nice and secure. Okay, unless you're pretty sure you're nice and secure, you can kind of open these up or simply, you know, it's kind of easier if you open it up because then you just take off the pin right there. And then you have a beautiful Pom pom. You can see however many times you wrapped around, that's how thick your pom pom is. Maybe I should have made mine nice and thicker, but this is where you will want to attach your pom pom to your bookmark. But before I do that, I'm going to 
just trim away these big extra pieces. So you want it. I've also seen people take like a um, grooming brush and really just open up these pom pom. You can choose to do that. I don't really have one of those, so I'm not going to decide which end you want to put your puffy palm. Maybe I'm going to do that side because I really like that purple showing. So I'm going to attach it over here. Get all those little ends out of the way. I'm going to take my yarn needle. And attach my pom pom. Let's go one on that side, and then the other one I'm going to put on that side. There. And I'm going to secure it as best as I can. And what I'm also going to do is take these ends and secure it here. Then you can decide, are you going to weave in your ends or are you going to kind of push them up through your pom-pom? You know, like maybe this, this end. I'm going to just push through the center of my palm. We'll do that all over. And then you're going to want to trim those ends. You could choose to weave those through your bookmark if you'd rather, you know, like on this side. Going to weave that end so that my knot doesn't come undone and my ends don't come out. Nice thing about this is that this is just a bookmark not like a garment or anything where you're too concerned that if it falls out, all your work is lost. And do, do, do. But you know, I do have children who will be playing with this as a toy instead of a bookmark. So <laughs> you do the best you can. And well, if I cut through my yarn, it'd be better. There you have it. The Puffy Palm bookmark. I feel like I did make these pom pom, these little puffs a bit thicker than needed to be, but that's okay. It'll make a really cute puffy palm bookmark. What do you think? Have you ever used that puff stitch before? Um, I have a couple patterns that use this puff stitch, and I'm excited to add this one as well to my free patterns on my website, as well as this fun crochet tutorial for you. Please like this video if you didn't already at the beginning. Subscribe to my YouTube channel so that you are notified anytime I come out with new yarn related content such as these bookmark tutorials and other uh, pattern walkthroughs or stitch tutorials. Thank you guys. Talk to you later. Bye bye.